Hello and welcome to my channel. It's Joyce time. There's quite a few of these, aren't there? And yes, I'm still getting through the marked ones. And if you want to get your Joyce Meyer Everyday Life Bible handy, if you want to read it through with me, or just note what we've been reading. Let's have a look. What have we got today? A high one. We are on page 1042. It is in Proverbs 30, 31, and it's called Kindness on Your Lips. Shall we see what this one's about? Okay. One of my biggest problems as I learned to control my anger and my words was the fact that I had been mistreated and abused in the early years of my life. Joy speaking. Not Lynn speaking, Joyce speaking, just so we're sure. As a result, I ended up with a harsh, hard spirit. Understandable. I was determined that nobody was ever going to hurt me again, and that attitude influenced the things I said. Although I tried to say things that were right and pleasing to others, by the time my thoughts had passed through my soul and picked up the hardness and bitterness hidden in there, my words came out harsh and hard. No matter how right your heart may be before the Lord, if you have pride or anger or resentment in your spirit, you cannot open your mouth without expressing those negative traits and emotions. Why is that? Because, as Jesus told us, our mouths speak out of whatever fills our hearts says see Matthew twelve thirty four. I began to realise that the Lord had an important had an important work to do in me. Gentleness became a key issue in my life. Part of what God revealed to me in his word on this subject was in Proverbs thirty one. The chapter that speaks of the spiritual, capable, intelligent and virtuous woman. Verse 10 in Psalm 31. In verse 26, the writer says that on her tongues is the teaching of kindness. When I read that, I thought, oh, God, I've, I've got anything in my mouth but the law of kindness. It seemed to me that I was so hard inside that whenever I opened my mouth, out came a hammer. You may relate to that situation. You may have been mistreated and abused as I was, so that you are full of hatred, resentment, distrust, anger and hostility. Instead of kindness and gentleness, you are filled with harshness and hardness. Ask God to heal you from all the pain of your past and to help you develop the kindness and gentleness he wants you to possess. Let his healing words flow from your mouth and keep kindness on your lips. I can sort of relate to this. I'll give him my little snippet on this one. Um, as a youngster, the family broke down. Mum went one my dad went the other way. I ended up in foster care. And I was pretty upset about this. Then mum went off to a different country. And that hurt even more. But through all of this, I stayed as me. Um, I've tried to keep kindness in and thoughtfulness in. My art played a big part in keeping me like, calm and not just digging and digging on all of that. I have had times over the years when it's bubbled up and I get a bit miffed. <laughs> You get a bit miffed. Uh, but overall, generally, I can stay good. We were at the opticians the other day, trying to get some new glasses. Not not these ones, they're new ones. So we'd put in the order and in came some glasses. We were called in. I went in, tried them on and I said, I don't remember ordering Harry Potter glasses. Are you sure, they said. I said, well, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have ordered 
As much as I like Harry Potter, don't get me wrong, don't quite think they're the glasses for me. So, fair enough, they looked at all... Oh, no, you didn't, did you? No. <laughs> oh, I'm really sorry. We'll have to send them back. Disappointment number one. Okay, they can go, and we'll get them the next time. So we get the call this weekend, and in it comes, and it says, Oh, your glasses are in. Would you like to come and get them? I'm thinking, yes, at last, I'm going to get my glasses. So I go down, and I look in the tray, and I think, I don't remember ordering a brown tint. And I'm not sure that's even the lens again, the frame again. Lady says, oh, let's just check up on this. I said, well, if you've got a bluey grey frame, you don't want a brown tint, you want a grey tint. I wanted the reactor light. Oh, she says, I'm really sorry. She says, A, it's a brown tint. B, it's not reactor, reactor light. It's just like a sunglass, you know, it's a... So this was now two pairs of glasses that I'd waited for and I didn't get. In the meantime, Hubby is dancing around like a Tasmanian devil. Not very happy at all. But I'm just sitting there going, okay, whatever. They'll come eventually. Luckily, I have glasses that are okay. They're not quite the prescription and they don't react alike, but we were okay with that. Anyway, my thing being was I could have ranted and raved and gone off at a tangent. But I didn't. It, in me, it was, okay. <laughs> we wait a bit more. And that, that was that. Hubby, I had to get to calm down. I said, look, my glasses is not your glasses. Let it go. You know, it's nothing you can do. Just let it go. So this is kindness on your lips, isn't it? I could have had a go at the people behind the desk, but they didn't make them. Yes, they put the orders in, which weren't right, but they didn't make them, so we wait. <coughs> she's been talking too long, so now she's getting hoarse. <laughs> Have a cuppa. But on that note, I should say, be careful of what comes out of your lips. Be careful of what you hold in your heart. Are you a snappy person, an angry person? Let it go. Life's too short. Just be nice and friendly and plod along. And everything will plod along with you. So I should say, do give us a thumbs up. Do subscribe. And uh, you know what's coming. Stay safe. Take care. And it's bye-bye for now. <laughs>